Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all good. In today's video, we are gonna be doing an updated stamping tutorial with an autumn design because obviously here in the UK, we are in autumn now and it is my absolute favorite season, especially for nails. So first up, I've chosen some darker base shades for this design and that was because I always really rave about the Born Pretty stamping polishes, but I've never really use them over a darker base so I wanted to give that a go. So for my colours I've got three shades from Kiki London. We have got Olive U which is this gorgeous green olive shade here. I absolutely love how the coverage of this one is so creamy so it's really easy to apply but the coverage is incredible. Then next up we have Caramel Swell which is this really gorgeous kind of like an earthy brown shade really really pretty and it's got a really nice rich tone for autumn and then I wanted to add some sparkles into this design as I wanted it to kind of look like a wearable look and I didn't want to do stamping on all five nails haven't done many crystals lately so I thought I would do a glitter nail and then we could add some crystals to that so once you have done your first coats of color you're going to come in and do the second coat of color so I'm just showing you guys doing one now of the olive U and one now of the caramel swell but there are going to be two of those because we're going to be doing five nails in this design so I'm coming in here and adding on that second coat of color I like to keep my Kiki London colors fairly thin they don't need to be applied thickly and then I kind of just go over them to even them out a little bit especially when I'm working on longer nail tips like this it can the application if you've got too much on your brush can go a little bit uneven so I'm just smoothing that out and then of course we're going to add a second coat of that gorgeous glitter this one is amber flame and it's one of my favorite glitter gel polishes for autumn because it just has a beautiful gold tone to it but it's got that bit of a burnt orange bronze look to it as well so it just works beautifully for autumn and I think it paired really nicely with the olive U and caramel as well so on to stamping I'm going to be using one of my favorite plates which is this floral one from clear jelly stamper i will double check what it's called and leave it in the description box below and then i'm also going to be using the autumn leaves plate from miss lucy uk because that's another one of my favorite stamping plates for autumn especially and then i've got my born a pretty stamping polishes so these are from amazon i'll try to leave a link in the description box below but last time i sent someone the link they was out of stock so i do i'll have a look but i'll leave the link there because you can still add them to the basket on Amazon even if they're out of stock and then you'll get a notification when they're back in stock. So I'm going to start off by using the clear jelly stamper plate and this is a layered stamping plate. So I've left this first now in real time. I have left a couple of the nails in real time so you can kind of just see how slowly or quickly I'm doing different steps. Now I always start off by cleaning my plate with a little bit of acetone Although I would have cleaned it last time I used it, it's been in a drawer, it might have got dust and things like that on it. So I always like to give the plate a good clean before starting. I've then applied a generous amount of stamping polish. I like to make sure that I've got enough to fully cover that image. And then I scrape my scraper towards me to pull away any excess. And the same when I pick the image up with my stamper, I give it a quick flick of the wrist coming towards me. And I try to keep that uniform step throughout. And then I find that I have absolutely no trouble picking up images and then as you can see there it's just pressed down beautifully now again when you have finished one design you do need to come in and clean your stamping plate so I've just got a lint free pad and again some acetone giving the plate a good clean where I've used it you don't need to clean the entire plate but I like to clean wherever that stamping polish has gone then we're going to do the layered image on this one which is the little details of the flowers or the outline and I did apply a little bit too much much a stamping polish here so I scraped both ways just to get rid of a lot of that excess and then as you can see that's picked up beautifully and we're going to stamp this down over the gold now this is a really easy layered image there is only two layers but it can still be a little bit tricky lining it up so I always make sure that I pick an area of the design that I'm going to focus on so for me it was the bottom petal so I focused on that when I was placing the first layer down and then I done the same again when it comes to lining it up you can take a few moments or a few seconds to line up your image once you need to be quite quick with stamping 
polish because it dries very quickly but I find the main time you need to be quick is when you are picking it up off of your plate when it's on your stamper you've you can take a bit of a breather and you can take a little bit of time to stamp that down on to the nail. Finishing off this design, I'm just going to add on some gold and brown leaves from the autumn leaves stamping plate. And we're just going to do single color images here so no layering so i'm going to speed through this part of the video we are also going to do a little bit of ombre stamping using both the plates i think i use both the plates so i might just use this one for the ombre stamping i can't remember but we are going to do some ombre stamping as well which is something i really love doing which is quite easy to do once you've mastered how to stamp so i wanted to point out how impressed i was that these stamping polishes did still contain a lot of pigmentation when going over a darker shade a lot of the time when i do stamping i opt for creamy bases white bases nude or light pink just because i feel when you've got a neutral color base it draws the attention to the stamping rather than the gel polish shade underneath but like i said for this video i really wanted to test these over a darker shade and i was really really impressed with how pigmented they still are especially the solid color like the brown it hasn't changed the color at all and the same again with the gold the gold i've probably used over a darker ba base before but the browns and some of the other autumn colors i have i hadn't actually used them here you could see i was just cleaning up with a little bit of acetone any stamped or sorry any stamping polish that was on the nail that i didn't want to be there so moving on to the next now we're sticking with that clear jelly stamper and we're going to do another one of the layered images so again i've applied a generous amount of stamping polish i always like to apply i know some people just apply stamping polish to half the design and then scrape to fill the rest of the design i kind of find that personally just doesn't always work for me i like to go in and make sure i've covered the whole design especially when i'm doing a solid image like this first layer here i just find it works first time every time where when i do the half image where you're just applying stamping polish to half of the image when i do it that way i sometimes find that i don't get a good pick up but again one of the things with stamping you have to find little techniques that work for you rolling the stamper towards me is something that I find works really well for me I find that I get good pickup and I get that image roughly in the center of my stamper so I can look through it easily and see where it goes some people might prefer picking up the image by rolling away from them or to the side but I have always found it a lot easier to roll that stamper towards me and when you find something that works for you if you keep on doing that same repetitive step it gets easier and easier and easier so once again, I've placed down on this now, I wanted to point out that if I'm doing a layered image like this, and I know I'm going to be doing all the base layers in one color, I'll do those first. So we've done our two gold base layers, and then we're going to come in over the top and add on our brown details for the flowers. So I'm going to just use my lint roller, by the way, to remove any excess image that I pick up. And then we're just going to line this up. So you can see I'm just taking a few seconds to line it up as neat as I can this is in real time so again I was quite quick but I still had a little bit of time that I could have played around with and lined that up but one of the things I will point out when you are doing any kind of layered stamping really study your plate before you start doing the stamping so that way you can match up details with this plate it's really really easy because you can see the images are next to each other you can easily work out where each layer goes the more complicated the layer design is the more it's a little bit tricky but if you really study your plate it helps you see where you need to pick up the image and where you need to place it down and i always just try and find a focal point so again i'll look at the image and find a certain petal for example on the flower that's a little bit different to the others and then you're able to use that on your second layer to line everything up and the more you do it the easier it becomes when i first got this plate it was a little bit tricky to line these flowers up neatly and i it does still look nice even when your details go ever so slightly over the edge because it still looks quite pretty especially in florals but the more you do it the easier it becomes so again on this one i'm just going to place down two solid leaves from that autumn leaves stamping plate and i stuck with the brown because there wasn't too much of the brown coming through in this design but i did like how it popped against those flowers because the flowers are quite a summery plate 
But if you work with them with autumn gel polishes, I find, oh sorry, autumn stamping polishes, I find it works really well. But then just pairing in a few autumn leaves with them gives it that really nice autumnal feel. And I feel as well, this, the green now has had a little bit of a vintage look to them as well. I think thanks to the olive hue and the gold. Again there, I'm just taking a little bit of acetone on a nail art brush just to clean up that little smidge of stamping polish. So we're now going to move on to the brown nails and I'm going to do some ombre stamping. So I'm starting off by applying my two colours directly to the plate and you want to just come halfway across the image. Now this one I didn't blend it perfectly so I show you better how to do it on one of the others but you want to scrape a couple of times to blend the two colours together. Here you can kind of see they didn't necessarily blend, it's more of a two-tone stamped image but I still really liked how it turned out so I didn't want to get rid of it, I thought I would just place it down but I really liked how the green and the gold worked together because it just kind of represented the changing colour of the leaves. I did feel as so the green stamping polish didn't pop pigmentation wise against the brown as well as what the brown did over against the green so I don't know if it's maybe just the two colors kind of both being quite dark but again going back to the ombre stamping so this time I've applied my stamping polish more at an angle and then allowed my gold to touch that green a little bit more and then I'm going to scrape a couple of times just to really get the two colors to blend and then here you can see that they've ombre together a lot more more. it's not like a harsh line where the green end and ends and the gold starts just getting rid of those extra little leaves that my stamper has picked up and then we're going to place this one down further down the, the nail on this now I think it's this one I add on some more leaves as well that are just solid colors but I really liked the two-tone effect and obviously you had the green coming through a little bit more on the first image and then looking a little bit more subtle on the next. So no, I did leave that now as it was. I kept that one quite simple, but we're going to move to the autumn leaf stamping plate and again, do that ombre stamping, but on a more smaller design because I wanted to show you guys that it does still work on a smaller design as well. You just need to be careful that you're not applying too much stamping polish because obviously you've got to get both colours on the image so again I'll take a look at the image and work out where I want those colors to be and you can do this with as many colors as you like if you've got a larger image you can go in with three four colors and just simply use those same techniques you have to be quick when you're doing this though because obviously the stamping polish does dry quickly so you don't want to spend too long applying several colors so I would recommend starting out ombre stamping with just two colors and then once you've perfected doing it with two go in with more now when i picked up this image it picked up the other two images there perfectly so i decided to just stamp them down anyway now again if you're wanting to do a full nail of different stamping especially of a plate like this this really works so if you pick up an image and you don't necessarily want to get rid of it you can you feel like you can also use it on the nail you can go right ahead and do that like i did there Again, it's gonna depend where it's placed on the stamper, but for this now, as you see, it worked perfectly. I then did feel as though there was a lot more gold coming through, so I decided to come in with the green. And then again, this is where I just felt as though that green, when I've used this previously over a cream or a nude base, it really, really popped, but over this brown color, it didn't. So I do feel as though it's still a highly pigmented shade. I just think it's where the dark base is pulling the color away from the green, if that makes sense, but you could still see it so this is what the nails look like when all of our stamping is finished if you do have any stamping questions or anything specific when it comes to stamping that you are struggling with i have lots of stamping videos up on the channel so they are all in a playlist but if you have any questions or if i've not covered it in a previous video or you can't find a previous video on it please do leave me a comment below and i'll be happy to do a video helping that or if you would like a more in-depth stamping tutorial going through things, I'm happy to do that as well. Just let me know in the comments below. On this now, I wanted to come in and add some crystals as I feel as though crystals and stamping pair really beautifully together. So I've popped down a layer of my rubber top coat and then I found this little antique rose charm. I think this is from a company that is no longer open. I believe it was from the Crystal Studio and they're not open anymore but you probably can pick similar up from a variety of places but any of these embellishments if i was popping these on my nails that i was going to be wearing so for example these are just display tips we've just, i've just used, done these for the video i'm not going to be wearing them then i would use some solid glue gel for 
the sorry solid gem gel for the larger embellishments if i'm just applying crystals then i always set these down in my rubber top coat so i don't add any additional gel for that but because this was just for the video i'm not going to be wearing these i'm not going to worry about that embellishment pinging off it's going to be fine in the rubber top coat but yeah if you was recreating these i would recommend using some gel glue for the larger embellishment but then with the rubber top coat i'm just setting my crystals down in place in it and then once i'm happy of how they're placed i'll pop that into cure for 60 seconds i really loved how simple this looked because you've got the really glittery sparkly base you don't need to go overboard with the crystals for it to add a really nice bit of bling so i'm gonna leave this I'm, no, sorry, I'm gonna pop these into cure for 60 seconds. And then whilst that's curing, I'm gonna top coat the rest of the nails. I'm just gonna show you guys top coat in one nail, but I'm coming in with my rubber top coat. And I just wanted to show you, I'm really brushing over the stamping, but because it's fully dried, you're not gonna have any smudging or anything like that. So that's something I recommend to do all your, all your stamping first and then go in and top coat, because you can see I'm really brushing over the top of it with this rubber top coat and it's not going anywhere. It's not smudging or anything think like that so we top coated the rest of the nails popped them into cure for 60 seconds and this was the finished design i really hope you all enjoyed this one if you did please do give it a thumbs up leave me a comment below and i shall hopefully see you all again in the next video lots of love take care bye bye